Hello everyone, this is Jaden Dunn with Kiss My Gosh Antiques and today we are at Nana's Attic in St. Louis, Missouri and they're not open yet but we're fixing to go in and you can see through the window it looks pretty good in there so let's go in and see what we can find and maybe we'll put something new in the collection. Okay guys, so we went in and of course the first thing I wanted to check out was these swung vases. This orange guy back here that I kind of zoomed in on is a Viking three-foil vase. It has little feeties. It's really cute. These are sort of kind of rare, so be on the lookout for those. It was priced at $2.24, I believe, so we did leave it behind. Next to it is this green smoothie and this red ribbed. The red ribbed right here that I'm pointing at is um, Ellie Smith. It was really tall, probably close to 30 inches. And this green one is also Ellie Smith. Um, it is a smoothie. The red one was a ribbed. Uh, that one was at $2.50. Um, the red on the left here is a Dominion, like the blue one we saw the other day. The one next to it is Ellie Smith. Oh, that one's Ellie Smith. Dominion's Ellie Smith. Um, the ribbed amber next to it is also Ellie Smith. And then on the left next to the ribbed was two pitchers. We'll come back to them, I believe. Um, right here is Fenton Valencia swung vase in the blue. And at $79, we did leave it behind. We actually did not take anything from this place, which is surprising considering the beautiful glass. Um, I would love to have picked them up and shown you guys um, closer, but there was a whole bunch of stuff between me and them that I could not move. Up next, we have these really pretty um, blue Anchor Hawking, or they were labeled Anchor Hawking, I cannot confirm, glasses, and uh, I think it was a set of eight for $50, which I do think was a pretty good price um, for a whole set of glasses, and they seem to be in great condition. These were one of the only thing items that I wanted to look at that I could actually touch and pick up in the store. But they were really pretty. Yes, it is a set of eight, and like I said, I hadn't seen this pattern before. I like the blue on blue, surprisingly. Didn't think I would. But, yeah. So, there's something we don't really look at. But, I thought they were nice, so we picked them up. Hopefully you guys can see this okay, because, again, I could not open this cabinet because there were things in front of it. But, this was like a peachy orange colored blendo set. And it had, I believe, four glasses in the pitcher. I do not know how much it was, because the tag, as you can see, was flipped over. But this is an unusual color for us. We don't normally see it. And then up here was a mixed color set with a picture that I have not seen that style in, I don't believe. And then on top was this pink, more of a pinky colored peach um, set with the glasses as well. I believe there were six glasses with it. Um, I don't know how much it was either because I couldn't see. Here we have a vintage tulip table and chairs. A tulip is just the style. Um, I wanted to get a good look at it for us. Honestly though, it was kind of plain. Like the, co the cushions weren't colored or anything crazy like that. Like it was just kind of gray, which was kind of disappointing, but that's okay. Um, I do believe we're going to look at the tag here in just a second. And it was $500 for the table and three chairs, but like I said, these are very sought after vintage. So here they had kind of like a living room set up. You could not sit on any of the furniture, which is common in places, but most of the time it's not every piece of furniture. And if one is going to spend that much money on a piece of furniture, um, they should be allowed to sit on it. So that couch was $250. Uh, I think this stool right here was 200 and I don't believe it went with the chair, which was priced on its own, but I thought that having it set up like a little living room scene was kind of cool. The rug underneath was also pretty neat. We're going to look at some more furniture here. I believe... Yep, okay. So there was these two recliners right here. Actually, they might have just been rockers. And then there was like a little set of this light orange colored furniture. There was two chairs. Yes, this one and the one on the right. So two chairs and one footstool. They were actually in really good condition. I do not did not look at the tag though. And here we had a lucite grape like swag lamp or whatever you want to call it. I believe they're called swag lamps, so correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was actually pretty cool, and the light going through it made it 
not it was more of like an actual yellow than like an amber which is neat to see I believe the tag on it says $399 so it was a little pricey um, this is me showing you that an example of everything being piled up and in the way because over here in this cabinet I wanted to look at some glasses those red glasses in the front the short ones but I could not get to them because there were mirrors and bed frames and things piled up right in front. And every single cabinet said, please ask for assistance. But the worker was less than willing to help us. So we did not get help. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. We came back to the vases because I could not stay away. So the two pictures on the left right here are actually Ellie Smith and they were listed as Viking. They were priced too high. I do have one though. Mine is bittersweet. I just wanted to come back and see if I could get a better look at these, but I could not get any closer to them than I was. I had to zoom in for what I did show you guys, but here's a better look at those pictures for you. And all the faces together. I really wanted to see that orange three foil in the back. These are Moon and Stars goblets, but they were like miniature goblets. They were very tiny, but there was a whole rainbow of them. There was amber, red, and the one I'm pointing at right now is um, a uranium glass one, but it was like an opalescent. And then there's an amethyst, ice blue, and green. Now down here, we had some Fenton blue opalescent. These ones were very like minty colored. Oh, cup, sorry. <laughs> And Luke was trying to tell me that this fish back here was Blanco, but I do not believe it was Blanco. There was one behind the counter that I could not get a video of, I don't believe. Yeah, behind this counter right here. But we had some Empoli decanters, three of them to be exact. A very, wait, four of them to be exact, maybe five. Uh, here's me zooming in on the dog back there. That is also Empoli. And then there is that blue smooth peacock blue smoothie in the front. And it was quite tall, probably pushing 25 inches, maybe 30, but it was priced at 300 and some dollars, so we did leave it behind, especially because we couldn't get our hands on it to look at it. So, unfortunately, we did leave it behind. Okay, guys, so down here, I'm zooming in on it right now. It's a really cool Zodiac ashtray, and I've been looking for one of these, actually, but we left it behind. Um, this piece of furniture was kind of like a little dresser thing. Uh, it's mid-century modern. I believe it's it's labeled as a 1960s piece. I don't know why, but it had like little fold-outs on the top. So if you know why, I would be interested in knowing. You can let us know in the comments. Right here, it says it is, again, a 1960s oh, buffet. Okay, that makes sense. And then it is priced at $900, which I thought was kind of pricey. But to be honest, I'm, I don't know what pricing on furniture is like. Uh, in our West Plains episode, there were some similar furniture, which I believe was in the same line. So that was pretty cool to see. I really like this piece, actually. Then we took a look at these carved wood wall art pieces. They were very expensively priced, and I'm assuming they were made by the same artist. But, again, I didn't really look at the tags. So I just thought they were interesting looking, so I wanted to show you guys this little knight on a horse or jouster and then over here is this cute little owl guy um one's on canvas i'm not sure if the other one was but it was in the frame and then to the left was this really cool owl painting i don't know if the owl painting or the wall art of the cityscape above are vintage but they're pretty neat to see i just really wanted to look at the carved wood art now here we have some roseville and in the last video someone commented saying roseville is oftentimes faked so i did not know that thank you for that information um here in the back we have some cream and sugars and in the front we had this vase i really like the cream and sugar i didn't know if they were supposed to be stacked but they look good together stacked and then we have this really pretty blue vase also roseville um this color blue is actually uncommon or i haven't really seen it so that's neat and then here we had just this interesting looking wood carved fish toothpick holder. Never seen one like this before, so I wanted to show you guys. This is it's from the 1960s, um, but because it was $50, we did opt to leave it behind. Now next to it was this really pretty little Fenton 
butterfly, which I believe I show you in just a second. Yeah, right here, just blue. And it was hand painted, of course. Then to the right of that is a carnival glass Fenton fish bowl. And actually they have a whole bunch of different things like fairy lamps and other things, bells in the fish line. If you guys are interested in looking at them, they're actually like a really cool line. Okay guys, so I got in the car because it was hot outside, but that was Nana's attic. Um, we left with nothing, even though there was a lot of swung vases because they were semi overpriced and we couldn't get to them. We couldn't get to any of the things we wanted to look at in the whole store except the furniture and then you couldn't even sit on the furniture if you wanted to see you know is this thing comfy before i buy it so to say i'm a little heated is that understatement uh, but just because they had good stuff does not mean it was a good experience and experience is always the most important for your customer so anyway but thank you guys for watching i'm um, sorry it was a little meh but at least we did see some cool stuff. So, again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.